Hey, 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 what is up guys? Welcome to Walking Talking Tech. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started with today's video. So as you read by the title and saw the thumbnail, today we're going to be unboxing the Apple leather folio case for the iPhone 10. Let's see if this thing is really worth $100. So as you can see from the packaging, I got it in taupe, which I think is a nice neutral color, especially for the silver iPhone 10. On the back, it just shows off the folio. It's like a little diagram gives you. And uh, let's get started with the unboxing. So as you can see, the packaging is very minimal, not too elaborate whatsoever. To tell you the truth, I would expect more from a $100 case, but it is what it is. As soon as you slide out the insert by pulling on the top tab, you get the case smack dab right in front of you. Upon first impressions, the case is very nice. It feels very well made and it has a great look. But I must say, there is an odd smell coming straight out of the box, kind of like paint fumes. There are also three odd streaks on the front, kind of like a mess up in the paint, which I wouldn't expect from a $100 case. Upon opening the case, you'll find a piece of cardboard inside with a little diagram on it showing you how you can insert cards into the credit card slots. There is also a stamp on the inside of the case that says natural leather to let you know that this is a genuine leather case. Now, the process for inserting the phone into the case is not very difficult whatsoever. Just make sure that you do not get that left bottom corner caught into the case like I did because then you will have some difficulties. Once you have the phone inside of the case, as you can see, this is a perfect look for your iPhone 10. Though, I would say the taupe color is more suited for the silver version than the space gray. Overall, if you are willing to spend a premium on a case for your iPhone 10, this is a perfect option. With the addition of the card slots and the protection for the front of your screen, considering how much it's actually going to cost to replace the screen on the iPhone 10, this might be worth it. As you can see, it's a very nice case, don't get me wrong, but it is not worth $100, it's clear as that. You know, one of the big faulties with folio cases is for photographers. If you are a photographer or someone who takes a lot of photos on your iPhone, you wanna stay away from folio cases, and this is the reason. As my example, what I just showed you, when you go to take a photo, you have to have the flap hanging down. Now, if that's no biggie to you, then that's fine. But for most people, you're gonna naturally wrap around and it just gets in the way. So, what is the verdict on the Apple leather folio case for the iPhone 10? Is it worth $100? I don't think so. Now, if you wanna stick with the Apple brand and you need a leather folio case, definitely go ahead and get it. But after spending over a grand of your hard-earned money on the iPhone 10, do you really wanna go and spend $100 on this? That's your call. My suggestion would be look elsewhere. So that's going to be for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little unboxing slash first look of the Apple leather folio case for the iPhone 10. Remember to subscribe if you have not already. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you are getting the Apple leather folio case after this video. You know, I'd like to know. And remember to keep walking while you're talking about that tech. I'll see you guys in the next one.